Walking alone when the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect As you can see, having a decent build is the most important thing in the simulation. Here in the game that he beat me, I had a horrible build in the midfield because I had a negative player that was dropping the average, I had a 45% MC that was doing nothing and the only good thing was 100% MC, whereas he had 142% MC and then one negative player. So his average in the, mid in the midfield was way higher than me. That's why he got the first goal right at the beginning and there was nothing to do because he controlled the game from that point with possession. Now, if we come back a little bit to recent event, you see how I fixed that. Instead of using a negative uh, player in the in midfield, I used a 45%, an 85, and then 180. Now you think this is a little thing, you know, like it doesn't matter. But the only thing that you have to do as far as the midfield is control possession. You don't have to over control possession. So as long as you are better, you are going to win. Now here, I did something even better than before is that with only two players, I control possession because what he's doing is he's dropping percentage in the midfield and he only has a 142%, so th there is no way he can compete with my 180 and my 85% MC. And then, you know, 6-0, 5-0 is the same bill. He tries to do something here and it doesn't work. And again, it's not because I did something tactically that made me superior. It's not because of my formation, it's because I am understanding the numbers. I mean, he's even using three MCs over here, but the average in those three is inferior to the two that I had. Here, for example, we have another case similar. Uh, I'm using the same build, by the way, but you can see how he's not even 140% MC, 139, and his 46% MC are going to be a match against my 85 and my 180. So the average in the midfield is going to be higher and I'm going to have the advantage. 
this guy too, he has amazing players, he's a very good opponent, but he's dropping percentage in the midfield with a one-star player, which means that the average in his midfield is inferior to mine. So if you add 166 and you subtract the 1%, which is the only two that really add to the midfield, that uh, MR is not adding anything. It's like basically disappearing from the average. So you are going to find out who is going to win before the game even starts. Same thing here. This guy is dropping percentage in the, mid in the midfield and he doesn't have anything to compensate with. And, you know, you just add the numbers and you know who's going to gain the possession. And with the players that I have, plus he doesn't have one of the key roles at max percentage. It's just a win and it's before even the game begins. Now, let's see what I do when they give me a 3-star minimum rule in a tournament at 125%. You see, I'm using auction players. But again, I am controlling the midfield. All I have to do is control the midfield. I don't have to have the best. You see that? He's using only one. I'm using three people. I even have 180% MC. So something like this is going to happen and there is nothing tactically that he can do that he cannot change formation because he's already dead because of those numbers you have to understand those numbers before the game begins and here for example my uh my dl is not a negative my aml is not 180 so i'm having a difficult time against a negative dl that can allow him to push 181% AML. Now he's not using better players, but he's using a better bill, and so he beat me. Besides, he's using on fire players, which again, you know, is uh, it's, it's, it's like a simulation on of its own. Because when you play with on fire players, if you don't have anyone on bad shape, it changes completely. Now here's the same thing, I mean, I'm using DL and DR, here I can do the most perfect team because I'm at 107%. And he doesn't have negative players, he doesn't draw percentage where it matters, he doesn't have control of the midfield, and so he loses by 7-0. At 110% I can do this, whereas at 125% I have to spend like $200 just to be able to push the team as to have, say, nine players 180%, while two players are negative 100 and something. So yeah, for example, this other game, I also win 7-0, I was playing 125. As you can see, my bill is, is, is okay, but he's not understanding a few things. First of all, all you have to do in the midfield, and I wanted to show you this example because he's using very good players, and many people make this mistake. It's like they overcompensate, you know, it's they try too much, it's, it's too much. It's like all you have to do in the midfield is be the possession of the other team. You don't have to over invest. And because he over invests, you can see his defense is lacking some percentage, and therefore his bill is wrong as well. Um, we have this guy, this is a Russian, uh, again, you know, uh, I'm using a semi-decent midfield, but then again, he's not understanding key roles and he's using a DMC with low percentage. Even though he's understanding the midfield and he could have possession, he has mistake on his defense in the understanding of key roles versus no key roles. Always draw percentage on DL and DR when using two negative players always have more possession than the other team. Here as well, you know, I'm using two negative players, the L and the R. He's not controlling possession with two star players, I mean, there's no way. And he has amazing players. I mean, this guy is in the top 100 and he has an amazing team. He understands the game, but the bill is completely destroying him because he doesn't see how me controlling possession on the R. Always drop He's percentage not controlling the controlling possession on the R. Because because he's star players. He's not controlling no possession. Always have more possession than star the players. Team. He has no way. Here as well. And you know, this guy he has two negative players on the R.